Anytime I see someone following their passions before profit or at the expense of something else, I salute them. This is because I understand some of the risks and costs they have to pay. As I keep following my passions, which one of them is travel, I am conscious of being able to answer the question of what do I want to be remembered for. And one of the answers is that I want to inspire others to believe in themselves, follow their dreams and live a fulfilled life. Yes, that statement is so easy on its own, but I being on the journey, I can tell you that's not always the case. Since I came to Ethiopia, I have been sharing my experiences, my wins, fun moments, explorations. But in this video, I am accepting to be vulnerable with you, to share with you one of my lowest moments here in Ethiopia and show you how I moved from being homeless to even spending in the most expensive luxurious hotel in Ethiopia. As a giveaway, every dollar made from this video will go to the family that took me in while I was homeless. Thus, please share and also watch to the end. A small interruption from editing the Maris and I just want to say that this channel is made possible by you guys and the support that you give me. So I just want to shout out three important people that I will explain why in the course of the video. Number one, I want to shout out the Niger boy. I want to shout out Kati Sola and I also want to shout out Kamal Vlogs. Thank you so much for your support. They all have YouTube channels. You can check them out in the description box back to my story of how I came, I came from being homeless to living luxurious and in the end I will tell you my current state. Enjoy. Now let me give you a perspective so we can be on the same page. In 2019 I decided I want to travel the world full time. 2020 packed my bags and started on a backpack from Kenya all the way to Burundi but COVID came up. What COVID meant for me at that time is that I needed to go back to my country, Kenya, but I didn't have a flight ticket paid. And one of my good friends, the Niger boy, offered to pay my flight ticket from Burundi to Nairobi, Nairobi to Addis Ababa in a later date. And that is where the picture of me coming to Ethiopia came up because I had a flight ticket. Now, with the progression of COVID in the year 2020, I was so certain that that flight ticket is just going to expire. But around the end of 2020, which is around December, I called the flight airline and they were like, you have to redeem your ticket before the end of 2020. By this time, it was already December 1st. I had no money in my bank account because I had just been surviving with the little money I was making from YouTube and I then decided to just reschedule the flight ticket to 7th December and whatever was going to happen was going to happen. But for sure that was definitely not a wise decision. So I called one of my friends called Curtis who I have shouted out and I asked him, I told him of my scenario and he was generous enough to send me a hundred dollars. I then reached out to a friend called Kamal. We were just talking, we were just chatting. All these people are people I have not met apart from the Niger boy and they just love watching my videos and he offered to pay my COVID test because I had to test for COVID before I leave my country. And in the long run, when I landed in Ethiopia, in my cash, I just had $60. Definitely, at the flight airline, they had to ask me for my flight return ticket. I convinced them I was going to go back by road. Where I knew by road was this $60 I have the exact amount. This $60 was supposed to be my accommodation, food, transportation, and everything in a foreign country. It was mind-blowing, but I acted not to think about it. So what I did, I looked on opportunities that can help me out. So I went on platforms like Couchsurfing, Home Away, Work Away, Exchange House, and I met this good host who was willing to give me his house to spend at his place for two weeks because the person was going to be away out of Addis Ababa in the next two weeks. Luckily, or let's say God was looking over me, he also was providing me with food so that helped me in saving up my little money and that is when I started my exploration of Ethiopia and maximizing on my stay here. Now, before I left Addis Ababa, the host came back and I had to check out of his house. I remember that day packing my things as if I knew where I am going, but ultimately I did not know where I'm going. I knew I could look for a house and stay, but I could only last for two days. So I just had like $50 or even less than $50 remaining because I had more expenses that I was paying. As I was walking on the streets 
so far this summer, but that morning I was still contemplating or oh, should I just buy a tent with this money and then I can be camping anywhere here in Addis Ababa. In my state of indecisiveness, I decided to just chill in one of the waiting bay where buses come and pick people. I didn't know I was to share this story, otherwise I would have recorded that whole entire moment. And I soaked myself back to edit videos because I still needed to keep delivering and entertaining you guys. Time passed and now the reality of I am going to sleep outside in a foreign country is coming to reality oh my god it started being a little bit scary just before i would made a certain like a concrete decision on my way forward a policeman came over from the other side he had been watching me seated there for the entire time bus is coming and i'm not boarding so he came and tried to talk to me and i was like tinish tinish amarenya because i don't speak amharic i was like i don't understand what you're saying i'm just here and i said i was waiting for somebody and i knew i'm not waiting for anybody so this was my miracle moment so when this when this policeman left a person who was walking by came back and asked me i heard you said that you're waiting for someone and you don't speak Amharic and you sort of look Kenyan and he started speaking in Kiswahili and that is when I felt at home when you're in a foreign country and it's just your initial days you barely know anybody then you meet someone who can speak your local language you sort of feel a relief so he introduced himself and told me he was Karis an Ethiopian but was living in Kenya for 10 years and that's why he well knew how to speak Kiswahili he invited me over to his house so that I can continue waiting for the person I was waiting and when the person arrives because it's close he's just going to come and pick me from his house that was risky for me and for him to for me on this extent how do I just follow a random man in his house just like that you know you feel me and on his side how do you just take in a stranger in your house but he was well convinced me that his wife was in the house and there was he had just gone from buying something that they wanted to accompany as they were eating and i was like my gut say yes so let's see what's the worst that can happen being a traveler you have to be very bold you have to follow your instincts to the core and i'm glad that i didn't feel any form of doubt and suspicion also remember ethiopians are more hospitable so that was something that i was also confident about so karis invited me to his house and they gave me food which was actually very delicious some injera with some meat and this is actually a humble family and being this hospitable my heart was moved now this is the most interesting part where the Maris is supposed to be waiting for somebody to call her for them to pick them up for them to go to wherever they're going to be spending the night but apparently there was nobody nobody was going to call me when i started playing with karis young daughter we could not communicate but we had fun while at it because at least we could hold toys we could have a rhythm and it was it was fun but remember nobody's calling nobody's going to tell me now it's time for you to go and then there was these suggestions from Karis and the wife the wife also could not speak english she only speaks amharic and they asked me to spend over and that was the golden moment this day i didn't like show them i was desperate or i really needed some help but it was just a moment of being like oh my god i have somewhere to sleep tonight i am not homeless as much as i was homeless before so i spent the night i was able to have a lovely time played with the daughter had a good time slept here it's very very humble family but i was grateful that they have very very big heart willing to take in other people and one belief that they had in their heart is that me damaris i as a guest i am a blessing to them and they don't necessarily expect anything from me but God is going to bless them. That moved my heart. They were looking, taking care of me, tucking me in the bed as I was sleeping at night. And my heart is always with this family as much as I am yet to reconnect with them. And it's because I have always been thinking about what is this thing that I can do to them to show my appreciation to them. So anytime I visit other places or families, I, I give I give and be like thank you very much but this family it's one that i always remember 
I was just calculating how if I deduct one dollar from my money, I'm just going to be desperate. The next day. So it's a beautiful morning. Just had a cup of coffee after taking a cup of tea and bread. Oh my God, I'm so grateful for these opportunities like this one. And yeah, such authenticity, such great love and kindness from to the strangers, you know. I'm grateful. It's a beautiful morning, so... Let me wake up and get ready for a beautiful day too. Now, being able to move from this and a whole journey happening afterwards to a point I'm spending in luxurious places, like in the biggest five-star, four-star hotel, I am just so grateful and I'm just so inspired to keep believing in my dreams and to keep inspiring other people to keep believing in their dreams and that anything we put our head into and we work towards it, it is achievable and that is why in today's video i have decided that in whatever amount of money is going to be made from here i'm going to go and thank the family that took me in when i was homeless when i didn't have a place to sleep when i didn't know what was going to be my fate thank you also for your continued support on this journey i can't wait for us to have more inspirational stories to share and some of the most things that we have gathered in case you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below but always remember whatever you're going through right now or whatever season you are in it is not a permanent situation things are going to change and we hope that they're going to change for the better also please check out the three youtube supporters of mine go in the comment section and tell them damari said thank you i would gladly gladly appreciate their support they did not ask me to do this i just also felt that this is all i can do to them and be grateful to them fast forward to four months later four months that I'm, i didn't think i was going to survive here for all that time and i can afford a bed and I can afford food and I can afford to bring to you awesome experiences and activities. All this has been made possible because of you. So shout out to you. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you want more inspirational videos from me as we move forward, remember to be kind to people. Remember, you never know what they might be going through. So if you can offer a smile, if you can offer them anything, that is a blessing thank you also for all my patreon support so far i am grateful that is it for this video remember to like comment share subscribe road to a hundred thousand subscribers always always believe in your dreams and always create time for what ignites your soul bye for now